Okay, I want to make this video very quickly, and I'll just tell you right up front, this is for people uh, who live in a hot climate, like I live in Phoenix, and if you're having problems like I am after you've disconnected your battery or for whatever reason, your uh, car's computer, and this is specific to GM vehicles, uh, if your car's computer has been wiped clean, so you've lost, you know, all your, uh, your monitors and everything in there, and you need to go for an emissions test. This is what happened to me, and this is how I uh, I fixed it. Um, this uh, I was going on a trip, and I was going to be gone for several weeks. So stupidly, I disconnected the battery on my 2002 Firebird, forgetting that I had to have an emissions tested shortly after I got back. I got back, hooked it up, hooked the battery up went into the emissions test without thinking and uh, took about 30 seconds and they sent me on my way and said that your car's in not ready status. And then they said, you need to take it on some drive cycles. And as soon as they said drive cycle, I knew what was going on. And uh, so anyway, my computer was clean. So my monitors were all showing incomplete. So I downloaded the drive cycle and that's what you see on the screen here. This is the drive cycle. Now this is what you're supposed to be able to do to reset all these monitors to uh, to ready in your uh, car's computer. Now right down here you can see it says a cold start with your engine coolant temperature at less than 50 degrees centigrade, which I looked it up and that equates to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. You're supposed to let it idle for two and a half minutes in drive, or in my case I have a six speed, so I just had it neutral. You're supposed to turn on the air conditioning and the rear defroster to put an electric load on it for some reason. You let it run for two and a half minutes. Then you're supposed to accelerate to 55 miles an hour at half throttle with the air conditioning off. Then you're supposed to drive it at uh, 55 miles an hour for three minutes. Then you're supposed to decelerate to 20 miles an hour with the clutch out and no brake. So you're basically uh, not supposed to touch anything. Just let it coast to 20 miles an hour. And I can tell you, I did this six or eight times, and it takes a long time for your car to slow down to 20 miles an hour if you're not putting the brakes on or, or downshifting or, or whatever. Uh, then you're supposed to accelerate back to 60 miles an hour at three-quarter throttle, and then uh, do that, uh, keep it 60 miles an hour for five minutes, and go, and then you're supposed to decelerate again to 20, uh, 20 miles an hour, and that's a drive cycle, and that's supposed to reset uh, all your monitors in the computer, except uh, I read online, it said, if you've disconnected the battery, you might have to do this five or six times. Well, I went out and I did this seven or eight times. And you can imagine what it looked like going down the highway, going 50 or 60. And then all of a sudden I just let off the gas and I pull over to the shoulder and I'm letting the car coast. And I kept doing that. Uh, and my EVAP, everything cleared except my EVAP and the secondary air system. I could not get those two monitors to clear and show as ready. I wasn't uh, throwing any codes as to anything's wrong. They just wouldn't show ready. So um, I called a local shop here in town in Phoenix. Uh, it's Apex Automotive. They're supposed to be really good at emission stuff. I called and the guy said, it's real simple. He said, in this hot climate, and especially it's summertime right now, he said, you're never going to get those two to clear in this weather. He goes, you need a cold start to clear those two uh, codes. So he said, drive up to Prescott, which is about two hours away, and it's at a much higher elevation. I think they're at six or 7,000 feet. And it's about 20 degrees cooler there than it is, 20, 30 degrees cooler than it is in Phoenix. So he said, go up there. He goes, get yourself a hotel. He says, I stay at the Spring Hill Suites when we do this all the time with customers' cars. Get yourself a meal, come out the next morning, and start it when it's cool and drive home. And he goes, it will clear the, uh, the code or it'll, it'll clear that monitor and show ready. So I thought, okay, I got nothing to lose. So I did that. Uh, I went up to Prescott the other day, spent the night, came out about 6.30 in the morning when it was about 65 degrees, started the car. I let it run for about three minutes. Then I took off and I drove home. I got home, I threw my scanner on it and sure enough, the code had cleared. So he knew exactly what he was talking about. And I guess they do this frequently with customers' cars. So anyway, just to let you know, this is the drive cycle. If you live in a cold climate, 
this might be enough to, to clear everything the first or second time. But if you live in a hot climate like Phoenix, then you're going to have to get somewhere where it's cool and uh, just let the engine get really cool because here it's like 110, 112 degrees every day. It only gets down to about 90 or 95 at night, so it wasn't really cooling off. So just to let you know, that's what I did. That worked, and uh, this was uh, this is what I had when I got done. You can see monitors okay, eight monitors incomplete is zero. So it was a happy day. So once again, you live in a hot climate. That's a way to get the EVAP and the secondary air system codes to uh, uh, to show ready.